This is the Radza 03E. Now this is a single board computer that has the same form factor as the Raspberry Pi Zero but way more powerful than the Raspberry Pi Zero. Now this board features a Rock chip 3566 which has a quad core 1.6 GHz ARM CPU and an ARM Mali G52 GPU with an onboard LDDDR4 RAM. For connectivity, this board has a full gigabit Ethernet port which can be used with a PoE hat to power this device. Now for the display, it provides this micro HDMI port which supports 1080p at 30 frames per second. Now for the storage, it has this micro SD card slot on which you can install your OS. In terms of supported OS, Radza provides its own version of Debian OS. You can also choose Debian or Ubuntu desktop builds from Ambient. There are also server images for Debian and Ubuntu for this board. You can also find Ubuntu for Rockchip build which provides Ubuntu desktop and server builds. I installed Ambient version of Ubuntu desktop on this board and the desktop experience was not the smoothest. It lagged pretty much in terms of loading pages and on playing a YouTube video it was playing pretty well at 320p but dropped nearly all the frames when I switched it to 1080p and the video playback was choppy. So I would recommend not using it for desktop environment. Next, I installed the Ambient Ubuntu server image and ran some tests. For Geekbench 6 scores, I got a score of 170 for single core, 453 for multi core, which absolutely crushed the Raspberry Pi 2 in terms of performance. Next, I ran the iPerformance 3 test for Ethernet Gigabit port and I got nearly 930 megabits per second for receiving and sending data. Now, this board can be powered using PoE with the help of a PoE hat that is sold separately. I could not get hold of this as it was out of stock, but you can buy it with the links that are present into the description below. Next, I ran the Sysbench test and it calculated prime numbers up to 20,000 for every 100,000 requests in 70 seconds. Now, all these tests that I performed were without a heatsink, which I totally recommend using it as it can get quite hot and might lead to CPU throttling. Now, in terms of use cases, you can use this board to install Octopi and automate your 3D printer. I'm currently using it to automate my Creality V3 SE with Octopi using this device. You can also use this as a portable NAS by installing OMV using the SD card as your storage medium. Now overall this board is quite powerful in terms of its form factor and can be used for a variety of applications. Let me know in the comments below for what you think you could use this device. Now if you like this video make sure to hit that like button as well as hit that subscribe button for more such videos to come. Now if you want to support this channel there are links into the description below wherein you can buy me a coffee or you can support me via Patreon. Till then take care and I will see you in my next one.